Sir, I see you. Yeah, bro, we got inside. Uh, and what are you best there for? Uh, best one on Long Island. Yeah, sure. Please. Okay. Okay. Hi, Rich. Have a good day. Okay. Uh, just a little bit about what you and what you like. Well, I'm a creative person. I'm not meant to make a new kind of future film. I'm going to show you this year. I'm going to show you this year. I'm going to show you this year. I'm going to show you this Absolutely. Well, exactly. You know, being from Long Island and having people have access to films made by people here, you know, what does that mean to you? Well, I mean, you know, I'm not really from Long Island. I never lived on Long Island. Of course, I'm in the proximity of Long Island, so it has that same vibe. But, um, you know, there's a lot of interesting stories, a lot of interesting people on Long Island in the tri-state area in general. And, um, you know, seeing those stories on the big screen is definitely something that I'm um, interested in and watching. And, Having that exposure to the state of the what can you say to encourage people to come out? Um, yeah, come out, have a good time, and enjoy some local great films and some local entertainment. And then lastly, you know, obviously being part of King Queen, a major show, a lot of people know. What was that experience like? It was a great experience. Um, what's, what's even the, the most. Uh, the best about being on a show like the King of Queens is that it's in syndication. So uh, people see it all the time and then you get to meet people and um, you meet the fans. That's the most exciting part about a show like that. Because you meet the people who enjoy watching it and they're entertained by it and they, and they, and they tell you this. And, and you know, um, you know it, it, that makes you feel good. Because uh, you, know, you make people happy. You make people laugh. And that's what makes life easier. Any uh, words of advice for aspiring actors? Yes, do theater. Do theater, do a lot of reading, uh, uh, do a lot, and uh, definitely touch your teeth on theater. That's the way to do it. You get in the action, you get going, and um, yeah, you know, that's definitely a big part of the equation. And then it's like, hey, Another big passion of mine, in addition to the arts and, and, and music and film, is that is animal rescue. And I just want to let everybody know that you know, there's a big part of um, what I'm about. It's a big event that we're doing out in the Midwest. The arena is backing up, and uh, a couple other big sponsors about 15 shelters where we're going to sleep in the cage with the shelter animals, so we can you know show what it's like to be in the cage, you know. And there's a lot of beautiful animals out there that need homes, and I just want to like put it out there to everybody, you know. You know, don't shop, stop, man. You know, there's a lot of beautiful animals out there that need homes and they're loving and they're very grateful. And, uh, you know, be on the lookout for this event that we're doing out there with the arena in St. Louis and uh, join us. Yeah, and maybe we'll be doing something like that on Long Island sometime soon. We'll do movies and resident animals. You know, we have to work on that. And, uh, yeah, man, that's really important to me, actually. Nice. Thanks for sharing all that. Yeah, you're you're welcome. Perfect. Alright, thanks so much. I appreciate I it. Yes. I want you to get that animal thing in there. That's important too. Yeah, maybe not for this particular one. You want to do another segment or cut it and yeah, do a little yeah. interview? Um, I'll do it right now. Yeah, I'll stay around now. Exactly. Uh, but, you know, that is a very good point. Well, especially, you know, on Long Island. So definitely, it's like a tie-in. Yeah. There's so many beautiful animals out there. I know. I know. Yeah, I shall.